Dean Saracen will long be remembered as one of the most legendary American golfers of all time. Born in Harrison, New York as Eugenio Saracini, Saracen started caddying for local golf clubs at the age of 10. Self-taught, he developed his own unique interlocking grip, which he would later become known for. Shortly after he bought a farm for his family in New York, Sarazin acquired the nickname The Squire. Gene Sarazin's mark on the golf world is on full display in the World Golf Hall of Fame in St. Augustine, Florida. In the resort resides a course that bears his nickname, The Slammer and Squire. The Ryder Cup was first contested in 1927 between Great Britain and the United States. Gene Sarazin played on six Ryder Cup teams from the year of its inception to 1937. To analyze today's match for us, the legendary Gene Sarazin, winner of every major title in golf. And this is Shell's wonderful world of golf. In the early 1960s, Gene Sarazin hosted a televised series of golf matches called Shell's Wonderful World of Golf. Both these fellas really know how to enjoy the game of golf. The outstanding part about Rodriguez is the second shot to the green. You know, this boy doesn't weigh more than 120 pounds soaking wet. In 1974, Gene Sarazin was among 13 members who were inducted into the inaugural World Golf Hall of Fame. The gentleman of Knicker fame, Gene Sarazin. After caddying through his teenage years and working as a club professional at numerous New York golf courses, Sarazin mastered the game. At only 20 years of age, he won his first major championships, the 1922 U.S. Open and the PGA Championship. Sarazin invented the modern sand wedge. He called it the sand iron and used it for the first time at the 1932 Open Championship, which he went on to win. I'll tell you, I used to be the most terrible bunker player of all. One day I was taking the flying lessons, and as I sat on the floor of this little plane, I pulled a stick back, and the tail went down, and the plane took off. So something flashed into my mind. I immediately went out to the, to the hardware store and got all the solder, and I soldered the back of a niblick, so that when the club went into the sand about that much, then it had to come out. I went in for about three months of practice, and boy, I had that shot down pat. In a span of 20 years, dating from 1922 to 1941, Gene Sarazin recorded 39 PGA Tour victories. Seven of those wins were major championships. And in 1930, he was named Associated Press Male Athlete of the Year. The Squire hit the infamous shot heard round the world at the 1935 Masters Tournament. In the final round, Sarazin struck a 235-yard forward on the par 5 15th hole that went in, giving him a rare double eagle. The historic shot ultimately carried Sarazin to victory. The Sarazin Bridge at Augusta is named to commemorate the 20th anniversary of this moment in history. It's a lucky shot. It was a low shot trajectory, and boy, it hit just short of the green and kept bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. And I didn't realize how close it was until the 22 people that were sitting around the green all jumped up in the air, started applauding. Then I knew it was in the hole, because they don't do that if it's a foot from the hole. <laughs> now we'd like to have one round of applause for the Royal Ambassador for the Game of Golf, Mr. Gene Sarris. Only five players have ever broken through to achieve one of the greatest honors in golf, the career Grand Slam. Only Gene Sarazen, Ben Hogan, Jack Nicklaus, Gary Player, and Tiger Woods have joined this exclusive club. With his victory at the 1935 Masters, Sarazen became the first player to achieve the career Grand Slam in golf.